Hello, hello, it's me again, the Metaverse Explorer. Let's get you up to date on what's happening in Star Atlas. Thank you for joining me, as always, every Friday. We try and keep you updated just like I do myself. So, uh, this is just a very small video that was released by Star Atlas. It's talking about uh, it's uh, uh, um, Tim McBurney uh, and his uh, comic book. Uh, just FYI, the uh, sixth episode is going to be, uh, uh, the seventh episode is going to be um, a while away because they're releasing number six, which is the wrap up of act number one. So you can go ahead and watch this video, get a few more, uh, a, a bit more insight into his comic creation, you know, the flow, the process. Six of Star Atlas Core. This is going to make the first six episodes into what we're calling act one. If you're a fan of Star Atlas and you, you have been following along, all right my friend so that's very good let's go on to the rest of the contents today a few things what's happening in and outside of solana so solana games gg this is going to be happening in san diego um it's a kind of ue5 showcase as well uh, lots of different uh games being presented on solana you can see star atlas is one of them um that is on the like you know on the cards to be shown here some of them do look great they're mostly trailers um but um yeah, I'm, I'm interested to see what other games might be uh, handling on Solana, might be coming out on Solana. Because this is the thing, it's a network effect. You know, when people want to make a game or like bring a game out, they're like, okay, where are all the game people at? And then they'll say, oh, it's on Ethereum or, oh, it's on Solana. And then all of a sudden, you know, you get more people coming. Because it's just like a network effect. That's how it is. Next up, Breakpoint is in a new city this time. It's not in Lisbon. This is going to be in, where is it? Where is it? Um, Amsterdam, Amsterdam, October 30th to November 3. What I really, really want to see is Solana developers creating on-chain programs for Star Atlas. Like, just like the club does, just like all the uh, some of the other um, uh, other DACs creating just content and uh, smart contracts and uh, uh, executables using the Star Atlas Foundation. That's what I want to see. We haven't seen that at all recently. I wish uh, Solana, uh, Star Atlas, or maybe even the DAO could, when the DAO comes uh, comes to fruition, we could be able to sponsor some of these DAO tracks and say, hey, build something for Star Atlas, come and earn some DAO tokens, Polis tokens, and there, there we go. All right, let's look at picture of the week. This goes to Makata Chan. As always, this is a very nice picture. I think it's off the Floyd liner, if I'm not correct, if I'm not wrong. And um, I think it's the landing gear on the Floyd liner. Correct me if I'm wrong, it does look like a Pierce ship otherwise. So I wonder what other ship it actually is. Let's see if it says it in the description. Uh, here we go. By the way, is the new camera good? You get a whole big view of me, don't you? It's nice. It's nice. So, Mikata Chan, thank you very much for that picture of the week. Really appreciate it. And let's go to the ships that were sold in the last week. We've had three Rainbow Arcs uh, being sold in the last week. They are uh, 8000 nearly $9,000 of trading volume, which is crazy to think because one Rainbow Arc is supposed to be 10 k plus. Right, so people are selling have three of them, and they're happy to just trade it like this. So someone out there got a really, really good deal. Uh, one Bomberella was sold for six k. One Visa's Ballad was sold for five k. A Calico Guardian for five k. A Calico Guardian that's supposed to be thirty thousand dollars. My God, the discounts on these ships. That's crazy. That's crazy. So so crazy. Uh, and one or Greco Jod Asteris, which is also five thousand. So would you rather want this? Is only a dollar. This is like um, I'm gonna remove myself. I'm gonna put myself here. You can see that. Um, so would you rather have, it's a bit weird when I move myself, isn't it? Would you rather have one Calico Guardian for 5,000 or one Agrica Jod Asteris for 5,000? It's a dollar, $150 difference. There's no big difference there. So which one would you actually want? I know which one I would want, but I'm going to leave that a secret until you guys tell me what you want. So as always, it's Friday. We're trying to give you some updates from the foundation room to see what happened recently. But this time... We don't have many updates, but the reason for that is given to us by Bunkius over here. So let's read what he was saying, my friends. We have all uh, anything uh, for Friday, uh, Mr. Bunthius. And Mr. Bunthius says, we have all hands company quarterly today, where all the teams are bringing all their goods to the table. So I don't want to hurt anyone's reveal. Apparently, I already did that uh, by approving the outpost shots last week. Do you remember the outpost shots where I think it was one of my thumbnails, if you guys remember? But that means next week we'll have a bunch of new content to choose from all the team. So sorry, I need to hold off this week, but I will share this one thing. Something we're uh, starting, setting to speed up along the pacing of the game across the board. Not final co uh, control transfer, but should be seeing more of this direction. And this is what he gave us. So my friends, it's a very, very short GIF or GIF, come and fight me. 
Um, it's looking at the racing um, arena, well, racing arena, the racing course, <coughs> and the changes that then the changes they've made to it. Excuse me, my voice is going. I'm losing my voice. So, what initially do we see? First off, the first thing you should be able to notice is that it actually uh, starts the the X4 starts going and starts accelerating as you're still getting onto the bike. This makes it incredibly smooth, right? I can imagine like all all the bikes are lined up in one way, okay? And then you have to start like when they go eh, 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 and then you go out of your cage to try and uh, race towards your bike so that you can start racing and start going. And that would be awesome to see. That's what I want to see. Uh, so that's the first thing I noticed, right? And they've got the animation down pat as well on this, um, you know, uh, leg over all the way around and then the sitting motion. Um, yeah, like a little jiggle when they get down. So that's good. That's really good. Um, the next thing, what do we notice? We notice a Fimble Air, uh, a, um, uh, uh, Fimble Lobby just in the corner there. Uh, slightly bigger, of course, than the Fimble uh, X4 of uh, PS4. Um, I do love the actual uh, mesh as the start of the line. Remember, we talked about this previously. I hated the like triangle that they had at the start of the line, and I I knew it was just early early phases. But now you can see it's a lot better, and I'm hoping that it's uh, slightly blurred out or the transparency is uh, uh, a lot lower, so that as soon as you go past it, then you can see the entire course. This allows for kind of advertising on the front of it, or you know like a giant number saying three, two, one, and then you go Wh whatever you know. There's there's lots of things that they could do to make it a little bit nicer. Um, yeah, or like like pictures of the stadium or, pe or people in the way, you know, like a kiss cam, whatever, whatever. There's lots of stuff they can do. And of course, you also see a small X4 on the left-hand side here. And uh, nothing else has changed apart from the HUD. You can see the uh, toggle at the top, which is the, um, the um, uh, you can see also, it's hard to, I should have paused this. You can see the um, ammo over here on the bottom right-hand side corner is the different uh, uh, values. They've got some green tinge to it. Don't know what that is. I'm um, at the bottom. You have the shield, and of course the hull. No difference. You've got your torque and like your um, your hot and cold slider on the right hand side. So yeah, really not. It's okay. Like it, it's great. Uh, what I really got away from this was the animation. All right, let's move on. Uh, one of the friends from AFIA managed to extract the 3D models uh, from the fleet viewer and uh, load them into UE5, I think it was. And then he made a comparison, and this is what we're looking at. We're looking at the Rainbow Chi, the Rainbow Ohm, and the Rainbow Arc right next to each other with their exact proportions. Now, I, I, of course, I'm very happy because I have all three of these. Thank you, Mr. Tixel. You guys know what happened there. Um, I have all three of these. So I was very shocked first when I saw that the size of the Rainbow Ohm and the Rainbow Chi is like so close together. Like this is supposed to be a small ship. This is supposed to be a medium ship. And that's supposed to be a large ship, right? So obviously like you can tell which ones are large. Can you tell which ones are small and which ones the medium? Not really. So I, I honestly thought that the Rainbow Ohm would be a little bit bigger than what it is now. Maybe half the size of this Ohm um, or the Chi should be smaller, but I was super surprised. So what I did was I went to the uh, Explorer.star Atlas just to confirm this because we've got the Chi and we've got the Rainbow Ohm side by side, right? The one's a fighter, one's a freight. Look at the length uh, compare of both of them. Uh, let's zoom in so you can see. So you've got the length here is 35 meters and 38.5. So lengthwise, the Rainbow Ohm is 2.5 meters uh, longer. But let's look at the width and the height. The width of the Rainbow Chi is 10 meters. Whereas the Rainbow Ohm is 7.8. So the width is smaller. And let's look at the height. 10 to 7.8. The height is smaller. So that's crazy. It like to think that um the Rainbow Chi, which is a small fighter, is like probably bigger than the Rainbow Ohm, which is supposed to be a medium freight. That doesn't equate, right? So I don't know what the team are going to do uh, about this. I don't know if they're even going to do anything about it. They might they might say, oh, yeah, we're going to refactor it because so far, like we don't have the, um, you know, they can change some stuff, which is a, a given. I don't know if they're going to upscale the Rainbow Ohm or downscale the Rainbow Chi. Either way, it doesn't really matter. The modules and components will be the same, hopefully, right? It's just about the size of it. It's just about how it looks because um, in this case, like it's it just looks too similar. It just looks too similar. You can't tell which ones are smaller than a lot, which ones are smaller than medium. Anyway, let's move on. Um, the Atlas newsletter from uh, Funcracker, he did outline some things that we did miss last time. So let's look at what Bantheus uh, uh, Danny did give us before.
Dogfighting might not get gameplay enhancements next release because we're delivering on other items, but we do have major changes that uh, to that experience planned for release 3. Remember, we're only at release 2.1, I think that's what we are, or we're waiting for 2.1, I forget. Um, we're nowhere near release 3, so maybe this year, maybe the end of the year, maybe 2024, uh, which is supposed to be the pre-season, if you guys remember, uh, which is supposed to be actually season 0. Uh, we've refactored vehicles, so the hover mode and some, to some degree the flight model will feel different and much more improved. It's really, really great. Asked about what animals the team has worked on so far, he responded with a steer, an ox, and a squid. Some will be pets, some will be mounts, and some will just be wildlife. Well, mounts. Mounts are coming out of nowhere. We didn't really have mounts. Like, I don't know what for. To traverse long distances in the showroom? Possibly, but you have a ship. Might as well use your ship. Like, yeah, I don't know why mounts. Mounts is, a, is an outlier there. Asked about the size of the Tigu. Danny gave the following measurements. Tigu's height is 80 by length 100 uh, with a width of 30 centimeters and a human is 180. And there are some pictures for us to um, compare them against. And you can see there's a Tigu ne next to a, a human. And there is a Tigu next to also an Uster. And the Uster goes all the way up there. And it's about to the knee level. Whereas for the, for the person, it's up to like the uh, pelvis area. And then we have some of the different uh, animals that they're working with. This is a minky steer. It's a male. Uh, same thing over here. Um, and we didn't get... Uh, I think we've seen pictures of the octopus before. And what's the last one? Uh, what's the last one? It is a steer, an ox. We haven't seen pictures of the ox before. So I wonder if that one's going to be... You'll probably be hunting... You'll be hunting the ox. The squid, squid will be a pet. And the steer will be either hunting or mounting. Yeah, I don't think you'd be mounting an ox because that's a bit weird. They're very slow. A steer would be better, like the whole locomotion, four legs thing. Yeah. Okay, my friends, let's do something. Let's give away some ships, my friends. Uh, let's log into my uh, Star Atlas Arcade. I have Triple Seven. I have your wallet. Valentina, I have your wallet. Club Grist. Club Grist. Now, I just want to make sure this is what you wanted. I asked you, your, dis your, wallet, uh, your wallet disappeared, and you said you can give it to the next winner. Pay it forward. So... I'm just going to put here, next winner, chicken dinner. Sergio, I have your wallet. Joe, my friend, I do not have your wallet. I don't know what to do about this. I'm going to leave it for now. And Bardi2, I do have your wallet. So let's go ahead and log into my arcade and actually go ahead and give you some Fimble Air Bikes right on this video. Excuse me, I had to get my ledger. Just going to sign in here. Excuse me. Excuse me, is it going to work? Yes, it will. All right, just signing into my ledger. Remember, uh, you need to have a lot of your assets on a ledger because, because when your wallet gets compromised, you need to be able to be the only one to sign a transaction, to physically sign a transaction. If it's a hot wallet, they'll be able to do it online, no problems. Let's go ahead and uh, I have nine Fimble air bikes here. Let's go ahead and remove some of them. Let's go ahead and remove the ships. I want to withdraw our entire fleet. Confirm. Oh, why? There we go. Now let's wait for it to actually be in the um, wallet and then we'll be able to send it to each person individually on this video. Sorry guys, it's taken so long to get these ships to you. I just, I haven't really gotten to it. I've just been waiting. Uh, no reason really. Um, yeah. Hmm. We're sorry to hear that your confidence in our faction has been shaken. I, I like that. I like that a lot. There were, there was an issue with your request. Oh, why? Why? Let's refresh that. Let's see if the ships did come out. Because I think the transaction did go through. Ah, oh, yeah, they're still there. Let's remove them, guys. What's happening? Withdraw the entire fleet. Confirm. And let's do the same thing. There we go. Withdrawal success. Awesome. Let us go to the inventory and see. Yes, we have nine Fimble air bikes right there. Let me go ahead and go to our first person. Triple seven, my friend. You will be getting one Fimble air bike. Let's go here. Let's go to the um, transfer. Let's go to the ships. 
and let's go to Fimble Airbike. Send to this address. One. Sending. Now you notice how I didn't even check the address? Very, very bad. Very bad practice. You should always check the address that you're sending it to. Now, this one. DVBA and C9B2. Let's send the next um, airbike, shall we? DVBA, C9B2, one, Fimble Airbike. Next. Sending, transact. Yes. Sergio, let's get one to you, my friend. Send a, a copy. Go back here. Go to the NFTs. No, not eight. Don't want to send eight, my God. And then let's go to body two. Let's copy that. And let's go back here. Sorry guys, this might be boring if you're just watching me do this. I understand if you are slightly bored. Let's go one. EWXT. Ooh, why is that um Oh yeah, there's a dash in there. Why is there a dash? There should never be a dash in an address. Copy that. Let's see if it works. Ooh, excuse me. Uh, let's go back here. Send one Fimble Airbike to there. Oh, why is there a dash? CO. CO. No dash. COVT. Oh, invalid Solana address. How? Why? There's nothing before and there's nothing after. Hmm. It doesn't exist. All right, let's go and see if we can find it. Body 2. Body 2. Let's go here. Body here. There's your address. Let's copy that again. Let's go straight. Copy that. And let's see if it'll work this time, my friend. Pepe, the address isn't working. It's not working. What do we do? Send. One. Send. Hey, it's going. So I don't know which one was wrong. Maybe I copied it wrongly. Oh, that's okay. Let's send one to you, my friend. All right. Now, we should have four Fimble air bikes. One, two, three, four. Four that have gone out. Let's go and see the uh, final amounts that we have left in the Explorer. We should have five left because we started with nine. Go ahead and see. We have five left. So, uh, that's it, you guys. You have all gotten your um, uh, Fimble air bikes. Thank you very much. Club Gris, I'm going to save yours for the whoever's watching this video. Um, I'm going to ask for uh, one Fimble Airbyte to whoever will tell me the name of my partner. The name of my partner. If you can spell it right, if you're the first person to put it down in this video, you will be getting a Fimble Airbike next up. Um, and then Joe. Joe, I need your address, my friend. All right. So that leaves it there. Thank you very much, my friends. Let's go ahead and read. Actually, Let's fix the rest of my fleet while I'm here. You can see there's nothing left. I've got three hours left. Let's resupply. I don't have enough ammo. Let's claim all of this. 15,000 Atlas, which is incredible. That's a lot of Atlas, my friends. That's actually just as much as Atlas as people have been donating me, which is donating to me. There's 27,000 here already. I've got 15,000. So Club Gris has literally changed the game for me, which is incredible. Let's go ahead and um, go and buy more tools, I think it was, wasn't it? I think it was a tool that I was missing. Manage, and it was ammo. So let's go and buy more ammo, ammunition. Let's buy, I think, just 100k to make it simple. That's 200 Atlas, nothing much. Approve that. Wait a little bit for it to actually go through and recognize because the uh, it does take a little bit to recognize. you got to give it some time. So I'm going to go ahead and see if it works now. No, not yet. Maybe refresh the entire thing. Connect, connect. You can see how fast this is because I've done it so many times. Hey, there we go. So it recognizes it. Let's go ahead and send that transaction. 
and for 36 days I've been earning Atlas. Wow, that's go that's amazing. It's going to be going for another four days at least. Four days. That's awesome. And another 500 Atlas every day. That's like nearly an air bike every two days. Like nearly two air bikes every three days. It's an incredible amount of value. I can give air bikes away every damn time. So I've got five left. Let's go ahead and go and re uh, enlist these so we can start earning some more Atlas from them. Um, I'll go max, 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 and that should be fine. Okay, so you've been watching me do on-chain transactions. If you're interested in the arcade, you can go and spy on me in the uh, Solana cell scan. Um, and I'm going to leave it there. Now, my question is, I still haven't figured out what I'm going to be doing with the polis I've received or the atlas that I'm still earning now. As you can see, there's a lot in here. These are all donations. $600. My God, that's a lot of donations. Thank you guys so much. Um, so I got some uh, um, uh, scrappy, uh, uh, scammy NFTs. I got a, a, a cosmic sounds from someone. I got interior paint and I got the first coded seed. So if you do want to donate to me as well, all you got to do is go to your Star Atlas wallet, okay, your uh, your Phantom wallet. You type in, send anything you want, whatever scraps you want to give me, uh, 10 USDC, some Star Atlas at all. Type in it's me dot soul, and that's my address, my friends. You can sell me whatever you want. I appreciate every single little one of it. I uh, thank you very much for supporting your local content creators, and that's it for now. I'm gonna leave it there. Thank you very much for loving me, and thank you very much for liking my subscribing and videos. Bye.